right, boys, the Super Bowl promo brought out a lot of offensive cards, and you guys know I'm doing gameplays on all the big three. We got the Terrell Davis gameplay today, the Plaxico gameplay, and obviously Doug Williams, which we already did. But this video, Plaxico Burris, probably the new best wide receiver in the game. I know Calvin Johnson is a dog, but now that we're getting into the, well, theme team, I guess you could say, this is probably going to be the new best theme team. Everyone's going to start moving into it. He gets the theme team, and Calvin does not, so I think a lot of people might start switching over here. But both of them are amazing nonetheless. This card, I'm excited to use. Haven't touched him yet, although I had him on my bench for the Doug Williams video. We finally get to try him out, man. Let's get right into it. If you are looking for cheap, fast Madden coins to build that God Squad you always wanted, head over to my sponsor, EasyMutt, and use code CHU for 5% off your order. The link is in the description. That card art, I actually really like the Super Bowl card art this year. The, the purple just looks really good out there. 97 speed. I already am 25 out of 25. We'll do a full breakdown and gameplay on the theme team tomorrow, so if you want to see that, turn the noties on. But looking at the card, 97 spec, 97 catching traffic, and a 93 catching is ridiculous. He's obviously a very tall wide receiver at 6'5". The route runnings are all amazing amazing this card is gonna be good he's also bit pretty big too so he should break a little bit tackles and he's not too heavy to where he can't use the good juke so being six foot five he's gonna juke a little bit more horizontal if that makes sense because his legs are longer and also ability wise you can use the token i forget what it what it gives you but it does give you plus one speed i know it gives you plus one speed but i can't remember what x factor it ends up giving you i don't have it yet you have to be level 10 in the field pass which i don't have but his one ap abilities aren't bad i think short and elite is cool i don't really play against man coverage ever so i don't really value that too much mid and elite probably one of the worst abilities in the game but he does get deeply which is okay ko still counter this i probably still wouldn't rock this everybody's using ko's on defense he also does get another discounted bucket where you can get short and elite deeply or evasive right here i'm actually just gonna rock double me today because i am using Howard master on my doug williams so we're gonna be able to see all the route trees out there anyways i think plexico in madden 24 wide receiver abilities are not very good anyway so we're gonna see his pure form here today let's go see how he bowls hey boys game number one i am playing the new event actually if you watch the doug williams video we were able to play a whole entire streak in head to head event so we won a super bowl in that entire video i will say it is kind of fast and probably the best way to grind but we are getting ball first man let's go score quickly with our guy plex so if you've played any Madden in the last like two years, you know Plaxico, every time he comes out, he's always in the top wide receiver discussions. And like I said, him and Calvin are competing for number one. But I just want to show you on the first play that he does get the good juke. Never mind. We got to tackle for a loss. All right, never mind. We're just passing the ball. I don't got to prove it. You guys know he does. And I just realized I forgot to activate double me. But you can see, look at that stack of wide receivers right there. Plax and also Megatron right next to each other. And then we get to add Terrell Davis to the team later. This is going to be absolutely awesome. Let's see. Is he going to follow Plax? He is. I trust my 6'5 wide receiver. It's all right, man. 97 change or not change direction. Catching traffic. And we drop it. Kind of unfortunate. All right, he kind of ran with him on that first play right there. But the good news is, like I said, we have Howl Masters, so we don't need Slot Apprentice on him or anything to run this post route like in this play we're doing right here. This took a whole Apprentice to do, but we get to save AP because we don't need it on him. And it looks like he's running with him every time. I mean, I'm going to target him. I see no ability on Jack Campbell. He's playing solid defense, but I'll throw a high ball to my six foot five guy over a linebacker every single day. All right, I switched it up a little bit here. I, I moved him out the slot because I've noticed he's starting to run with them a little bit. We moved him on the outside. Does he end up following Plax? Oh, touchdown wiped off the board. No worse feeling in Madden. I don't even know who that guy is. Is that Lawrence guy? There's no way. That is definitely unfortunate. No worse feeling than watching a touchdown just get wiped because of a quick sack. And let's see, Plax go. We ran a bomb this play a little bit different. Get through. Get through. A hey, big hold. We took a hit stick from Pat Tillman right there. Still a 92 overall card, but he still does have good hit power. But we held on. Let's go, Plax. And let's go back, actually, to that play we started off the game with. We got to be able to score right here. I want to show you guys on a tall wide receiver the best thing you could do in a really good goal line play. And it looks like he has that left side stacked. Is actually just journaling after getting the ball. I do this in a lot of my gameplays to punch it in with wide receivers. Let's see. Yeah, this guy's actually playing really solid defense against it. I'm not going to lie to you. No, I clicked the random play. I really don't like this at all, but I got Plaxico one-on-one -on -one man coverage. All right, you know, sometimes co-suggestions can be the truth. I don't think I've called a co-suggested play in like literally months, but it worked on the first time we did it. Let's go, Plax. See how fast we can make a run maybe in today's, ev maybe every video, the Terrell Davis one included. Maybe we can win a Super Bowl in all three of them combined. I don't know. I guess it'll see how long it takes because last one, I got a lot of people quit really fast. I guess we got to get, we got to speed it up a little bit here. Because I recorded for like 35 minutes on stream in the Doug Williams video and we ended up winning a bowl. But like I said, that was kind of a, a lot more extra. Like that one was way faster than the normal game because people were quitting like crazy. And it looks like he threw a pick. Come on, man. We might be able to get it. Honestly, if we can get a 
right here, we might be able to get into another one. Hey, let's get it, baby. I need to throw some distracting routes out there because every time I ran this corner route, he kind of ran with it. And I don't want to, like, you know, have to compete with his linebacker. I think he manned it up. I don't know, actually. Plaxico, come on. Oh, man. I don't know. He, like, matched onto him there for a second, dude. That was so close. We needed that. Quick snap verticals, baby. Let's go, Plaxico, over the middle. Maybe over high ball over Campbell. I see it. I see it. See, I mean, telling you, if you see no KOs, always take advantage, especially with a tall wide receiver that gets insane catching stats. A possession catch right there between two people, plus gift wrapped. Yeah, that was just too easy, man. This game is becoming too easy with these goaded wide receivers. Here we go, baby. First and tank. Come on, man. I, I'm feeling good right now on defense. We got a lot of better DBs out there. Still rocking peppers, but the rest of the three DBs back there are all the new guys in the theme team, and he's still lazing us, man. All right, Cam, let's get a fumble out here. See, the sad part is, is this guy is milking the clock a little bit, but I don't think he knows. He doesn't know the glitch yet, boys. He doesn't know he's not getting the ball, which is absolutely terrible for this guy. And look at the defense out there, man. How do you have all day again? Come on. I'm sending the heat right here, boys. I need a good play. The running backs underneath. Come on, man. We finally got there. Fourth and one. This could be the game right here. Throwing the hard flats out there so they scream right away, but I feel like I have to send the blitz against this guy. And underneath our guy, Wild Man, with the locks, that might be the game. All right, boys, I don't know if the Super Bowl per video is going to work today. I don't know. At the rate of this is going, I've already been recording for half the time I recorded the first video that I won a Super Bowl in. But Plaxico, I'm going to try it, man. I see a small DB out there. Oh, yeah, Plaxico. No abilities, no problem. Come on, man. He's too. Oh, I didn't even see the clock. Oh, no, boys. Oh, no. I completely forgot about this. I probably should just snap and throw it away, but we're going for the end zone. We need a big play. Come on, man. What can we get? Low ball, low ball. Donald Penn, why are you in the game? Let's go, boys. And like I told you, this mode is absolutely broken. I'm, I'm really hoping that they accidentally did this and it's not permanently like this because getting the ball first twice or getting the ball twice at the beginning of the game and at the half is just, this is not fair. It's just not fair at all. I mean, I hate to be that guy, but the game is probably over already. But, you know, I mean, I'll take an advantage. We get to use Plaxico a little bit more. And it looks like he kind of set the heat right there. Yeah, all right. Plaxico is literally catching everything right now. And also, this is on All-Pro. Your first two games of your season are on All-Pro. Your, your last two are all Madden. So, this is still the normal difficulty, and he's making crazy catches. 162 yards already. For that deep corner out again, man. We agged him last time, and uh-oh. Should I throw this low? Oh, yeah, yeah. His DB ran away from it. Plax go inbounds. Come on, man. We're showing him off in literally every possible way right now. And that's going to be the rage quit. I think he literally caught almost every ball besides that touchdown we had with uh, Penn. I mean, he went off, boys. Let's get into another one. All right, game number two, and we get the ball first. I almost feel like it feels nasty. Like, I feel like I'm cheating, but it's like we're literally how they designed the game. And you can see I'm kind of staring our guy down. Maybe not. Maybe maybe, maybe it's worse for us. It's actually great defense by the opponent. I was literally only looking at Plaxico, and it just destroyed me right there. But we moved him to the slot instead of the outside. We need a big play after that. That was a disgusting way to start the game. And he actually just left this open underneath. I don't like throwing other people in game plays. But if we got to make up for a big sack, we got to do it. I don't want to sell Megatron, but, like, I lost so many coins today building this theme team that I might have to, honestly, just to, like, recoup a little bit of it back. But I think Plaques go just enough for the first. Oh, ah, we got the nasty juke right there. I was about to say, oh, yeah, good juke time. Come on, man. This is close enough. It's like nasty too because you could really chew out the first half so easily. It's a two-minute quarter, so you could chew it out and then obviously get the ball at half. It is – I don't know how I feel about this event. It feels very unfair if it's like really even matchups out there. Let's see if Plax go on the sideline though. I threw a high ball right here. No safety ability. We would have got down anyways. We got the good animation. Come on, man. I hate when I do this, dude. I hate when I do it. But actually, it makes for more yards, I guess. I mean, we could almost tally 100 yards on like one drive from a bunch of sacks. And we're kind of cooked right here, but you guys know we got that new Doug Williams. Come on. Just saw that this is his NFC Championship, so this is his 3-0 game right here. You hate to do it to him, but I'm sorry, buddy. We have to win this game. And Plaxico, that's why I hate using the safety. You take one wrong step and boom, easy touchdown. And I'll take it, man. I didn't even have to play the game to get that one. Hey, let's go get ourselves another defensive stop, man. We've been playing great on offense and on defense. Our opponent has the new Doug Williams out there. I saw he has any time, too. So a pretty good squad all around. We can still get a stop here. I mean, he has two minutes, 50 seconds, one timeout. I don't know what he's doing, but he just audibled, so I can't back off my left guy. I knew it, man. I didn't know. Oh, I mean, now that we actually have deep out zone on Ronnie Lott, so actually, you could throw that all day. I forgot. Now our DBs are a lot better. 
That is so awesome, dude. The, the new DBs that came out, all three of them get deep zone and pick artists all for two AP combined. That is insane. And look at Rondé Barber. Let's dance our way to the crib. Come on, man. Ball, I have to. This one's over. One more D and this guy's going to be out of here, man. Like I said, I think the game's probably over already. And look at our guy Adderley, man. The DBs, I'm telling you, this team team is by far the best just because the three DBs alone. I don't know what it is, but, like, they just, like, tried to kill a lot. Like, playoff theme team really didn't get that many good defensive backs. And they just gave, like, the best guys in the world. Look at Wild Man as a computer, too. They gave us, like, the best ability stack ever. All three of those cards are probably top ten in the game. I feel bad because I know this is this guy's playoffs, but at the end of the day, we're all grinding for our stuff out here. I lost a lot of coins, so I got to recoup a little bit. Plexico, come on, baby. Big play right here. Get all the way. Oh, yeah, that weird little stutter step on the catch throw off that zero chill LTV. Kyle Hamilton, crib shot one more time. That's going to get him out of here. I mean, for a two-game span, that might have been, like, the quickest, easiest wide receiver video I think I've ever did. I mean, he just dominated literally in every facet of the game. Yeah, boys, I think if you are running any sort of Super Bowl theme team, that Plaxico is a must-have. I mean, dude, being six foot five. also, if you use your token on him, even in a Giants theme team, you could probably get him up to 99 speed, right? Because the plus one from the token, plus two from the Giants. He is a dog, man. I think Plaxico, if you are building a God Squad, is a must-have. Him and Calvin are probably 1A, 1B, I would like to say in this game. Let me know who do you think is better, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Terrell Davis up next. I'll see you guys there. Peace out, boys.